They got some. They got some really good deals there. Uh, Vaughn Griss is making the decision difficult when Alves does come back because this young man, after this uh, hit you just saw, sitting 391 with a 440 on base, he looks like he belongs, which is par for the course for every rookie that debuts for the Atlanta Braves. How is he different than the rest of the pack? I think he has this mature, you know, attitude about him. When you're watching him play, he's already sort of looking like he's been in the league 10 years. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you watch his play, and I'm just going to show you the swings and the swag that he has, and this is his first homer in front of his his family. But look at the swing. The swing is powerful. It, it, it has like that, you know what, I've been here before. I know exactly, you know, what's going on up here. My, my family, this is what I, I'm going to put on a show for y'all. But when I see swings like this for youngsters and the swag of flipping the bats and having fun and enjoying yourself, this is what I like. This is this is going to make them play him. So you talk about Albies coming back, that's fine. We'll just put him in left field. We'll figure out a place for him. Because we've seen him do some things, five tools. We've seen this swing play into the fact that he has that he's going to help this team get deep into the postseason. And they're just finding him year in and year out. And when you talk about handshakes already with your boys, you just got to leak. This is only 40, 41st at bat. But watch this. This is the other night. He gets the lead. He, he's run on the play, but this is a base hit up the middle. A, my, a one lousy, of my favorite plays of the year. Lousy base hit. He's watch. He's watching watch at third, and he's coming home no matter what. And look at his face. So look at that. I love it. I replayed that like ten times. Uh, it's one of my favorite plays of the year. This, this, this is when when you watching this team, you going the supporting cast players. This is what you hoping your supporting cast players are. I mean, this is incredible. You, you, you can't find that. This is not these are three rookies. The these are three rookies. Yeah, these are real deal Holyfields. With the defending yeah. World Series champions. Serious. Usually a team that, like, decimates their roster. They lose 110 games, and they draft well. They, those are the teams that end up having a great rookie class. But you rarely see a class like this for the defending World Series champs. Yeah, yeah and, and three guys that are impactful, like – that are making a difference. They're a reason why they turned their season around and they were in quicksand going into May. Three guys that are game changers in a lineup and in the starting rotation. You can only take one of those three, Strider, Harris, or Grissom, for the rest of the year. Harris. You taking Harris? All center field, pop. Speed. Spencer Strider is probably going to be game three of a postseason series for them. You're going to have Freed go game one. Kyle Wright's got to be game two. He's won all those games. 15 game winner. He's you're talking about a game three starter yes. who's a rookie. Yeah, you're I'm talking about Harris, a center so. fielder with some pop that can run the bases. He can do a lot of things. He's a game changer in center field. I will say this that though. Ball hit the left side. I mean, the, oh, I know. He, oh, it's I love, it's oh, different, I love man. That, that's a that's a Big part of the field out there in PNC Park in Pittsburgh. And he goes left center better than he goes to right field. But what do I say all the time? The teams that win have the swing and miss on the mound in October. Spencer Strider is pitching like a yeah. closer. His, he's they got do. a K per nine over 13. They and do. he's a starter right now. But I will say this. The Mets are loaded. The Dodgers are awesome. Cardinals won eight straight games. If the Braves are going to win the World Series again to get through the National League, this Marcelo Zuna off the field issues, and he comes back and he strikes out and he's getting booed. He's not playing every day. And they don't, Robbie Grossman's barely hitting over 200. You said Grissom could play left field. If he evolves and continues to play like this as a rookie, and they can put him in left field come postseason time when Albies is ready to rock at second, he could actually be the difference maker of them all. Yeah. And I agree with that. You know I, what I mean? I 100% agree with that because I think when you when you do dumb stuff and you and you sort of unfortunately make it easy on the organization like boot you, then you give an opportunities for guys like Grissom to come in because he wants it. You it, some guys are, are are afraid to be great, and then you have to like push them along. You're like, all right, we, we're not gonna you know we're not gonna uh, overwhelm you. We, we're gonna let you sort of just go at your pace. He's like, give me every opportunity to be great. This is why you bring in certain guys, because they can be game changers, and he wants the moment. The crazy part about Harris Jr., Brian Snicker told me before game that the, a lot of people in the organization thought he was a, more of a prospect as a pitcher. There were teams that looked at him more as a pitcher than a mm. position player, and the Braves thought of him as a position player. They thought eventually he would hit for power, and they were right. Yeah, they were right.